Hi everyone, Jeffy here and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. I know it's been a bit of a longer gap uh, this time around, sorry about that. It's been a busy couple of weeks but we'll be back on schedule soon enough with uh, one video a week. So this uh, this episode is number five in the series, it's called Hippos and Horseplay. As always, uh, if you want to try solving it out first yourself, the link is in the description. But I will now uh, read what Gladys has to say about this one and then show you how to solve it. Uh, let's go. So, as always, we start with Gladys' message. Uh, so, dear puzzling, uh, this time you're going to need some of your chess knowledge. Not a lot of chess knowledge, though. Uh, you simply need to know how a single piece moves. Uh, find a path for a knight starting in the lower left corner to cover each unshaded cell exactly once ending in the cell marked with the white diamond. The grid is 8x8 because a chessboard has 8 lines and 8 files and the number 8 is significant. So as, as we can see here we have shaded cells, the knight is here and we need to get to this diamond shape here. Um, uh, then continuing on that it says uh, today I have visited a national park that's bigger than many countries and seen lions, hippos, and giraffes in the natural environment. Can you guess where I am? Love, Gladys. So we are looking for a national park of some sort. It even says what kind of an animals it has. So as we can see in the grid, there's a sort of crossword grid, and we have crossword clues at the bottom, and we have to solve this uh, night's tour as well. So, uh, I think we can start with the crossword here. So, um, I have the grid, uh, editable grid open uh, in the corner here. here. And um, let's look at the clues and fill in the crossword. And after that we can start thinking about the chess stuff. So, if we scroll down here, we can find clues. So maybe a good place to start is again at the at the uh, top left corner here. So uh, one across. Artists who sing all along the watchtower turn the page and jam in, for example. Well, what's common? Well, for, first of all, all along the watchtower, that's Bob Dylan. Turn the page, that's Bob Seeger and Jamin is Bob Marley. So what's common between those three people? They're all Bobs, aren't they? So, so the answer is Bobs there. Oh and also I should mention that this is not a cryptic crossword, this just these are just standard crossword clues. Um, so you don't have to uh, look for any anything trickier than that. And by the way, on this site, how you how you can tell is from these tags below the below the puzzle. It says crosswords. That's just indicates that it's a standard crossword. And also, you know, you always have this knowledge and geography because that's what you need in this series. And this time, it's chess as well. If if it was cryptic crossword, it would say cryptic crosswords in the tag there. So Bob's is the answer to uh, number one here. So let's uh, continue with this crossing answer. So one down then. An enthusiast or expert? Uh, well, there is a four letter word starting with B for enthusiast or expert, which is buff. If you're a film buff, you're a film expert or enthusiast. Uh, seven across. Automatic weapons from 10 down. Now this refers to the this answer which we don't know. So we could guess at uh, automatic weapons word here, but uh, I think we're going to wait until we have the answer to 10 down. So let's look at 9 across then. A Pacific Island nation. Well, the Pacific has many island nations, but I mean, if you think of countries that start with F, there's only one that fits here, which is Fiji. Um, 
Now we know 10 down starts with I. Could we do something with that? A name given to Jacob. And from seven across, I guess we are also know it has to be the name of a place as well. Let me just check my showing here because I just said name given to Jacob. Oh, it barely fits here. Let me just... Yeah, okay. So maybe I was pointing outside of what's shown on the grid there. So here is the clue there. A name given to Jacob. And uh, yeah, from seven across, we know that that's also a place because it's from ten down. Well, in one name for Jacob in the Bible is Israel. That is also a place named after after that person. So once we know that, then maybe we can do actually this seven across. So automatic weapons from ten down. Well, an Uzi is an automatic weapon that's produced in. Israel and Uzis are, it's just the plural of that word. Now this uh, two down looks looks like it doesn't have many options, right? B-I-J, starting with B-I-J, so let's start with, the, let's go on with that. A small jewel, the French word bijou is a, a small jewel. So now uh, we have two letters for this 15 across. A star fleet officer. What star fleet? It's from Star Trek. And uh, one officer that fits here is Uhura. Spell, uh, spell like that. Now this three, uh, we have one letter for three. Uh, can we look at that? Antebellum, one word. Well, if something is antebellum, it's uh, before the war. War would fit here. Can we guess, get a three-letter uh, prefix meaning before? That would be pre. And pre-war is antebellum. And that gives us a lot of useful letters. This SW, this R here for three-letter answer. This R also. So let's start with this SW, 13 across. An official language of South Africa. Now there are quite a few official languages in South Africa, but one of them is Swazi. And only one of them starts with SW, I think. So Swazi fits there, giving us a Z now for this five down. Uh, so let's look at five down. A relative of Muhammad's on his father's side well, um, obviously Muhammad had many relatives. Uh, one of them is, one of them has this said here, and it's Hamza. Hamza, which is the answer. Also, there, um, obviously something you can look up, but maybe we could have done the, the crossing answers. But Hamza is the answer here. Uh, but maybe this would have been easier. Let's look at eight. Eight across. A coastal inlet. When a coastal inlet, a ria is a coastal inlet. Then we have uh, 11 across. A novel by Jane Austen. It's a very common crossword answer. Emma. Then there's four across. A letter used in the names of Corfu, Cyprus, and Greed. Well, it's not going to be C. C-E-E, -E, because that's a H. Well, this is going to be a Greek letter. These are all Greek place names. Corfu is in Greece, Cyprus is Greek speaking, and Crete is also in Greece. So they all are spelled with a row somewhere. This R here. R, R, and R. A row. And then uh, six down would complete this corner here. So let's see. Animal cells that can be fertilized. And those would be the egg cells, the ova. 
all the cells that are fertilized. Uh, now let's go into this corner here. So 14 down. A language spoken in the Ca uh, Caucasus. I'm gonna say it's Caucasus. I may be mis mispronouncing that. So uh, plenty of languages spoken there. Uh, but uh, maybe one that fits here. Oh, no, I'm thinking maybe there are others that fit here. Maybe we'll just try getting a couple of crossing letters. Um, 18, then a Shah of Iran, Reza Shah, then I'll set there, but that's not crossing letter, so not as useful as this set here. Let's try the 16, a thriller film by Steven Spielberg, four letters. Well, Spielberg has many famous films, but Jaws is definitely a thriller and one of his famous films. So let's see, um, 20, uh, an aircraft or ship's personnel, it would be crew. And now I think we can just know a language spoken in the Caucasus. It's Azeri, Azerbaijani. Spoken in Azerbaijan and in like northern Iran. So that's Azeri with an I at the end here. Also, this is a couple of sets in the grid already. So let's see. Um, 22 across. A disease the Berlin patient was famously cured of. And that's an abbreviation. Well, uh, the Berlin patient is a case of a person who was cured of AIDS. There's also a London patient, uh, but yeah, the Berlin patient is, uh, the answer is AIDS here, and that is an abbreviation. I'm not going to try to remember what it is, but it is. So that's why this ab abr is here, abbreviation. So it's just telling you that it's an abbreviated answer. Now, let's look at um, 12 down is allocated portion. Maybe it has a couple of options. A share is an allocated portion. Let's see uh, whether that is correct. 19 across a type of small deer native to Eurasia. A roe deer is a small deer, so roe looks good with this. This has two A's now, 17 across. An Indian king or prince would be Raja. Raja is an Indian king or prince, so share looks good here. And 17 down. Accelerate with the, without the gears engage. If you, uh, if you uh, rev the engine, this is what uh, the, accelerate the engine without without having the gears engaged. It's uh, you rev something, you rev the engine. So R E V is the answer and now we only need this 21 across to finish off the grid. A person like Forrest Gump or Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle was an animal doctor, right? He was a vet. And Forrest Gump wasn't an animal doctor, but he was, he fought in the war. So he was a vet in a different sense, a veteran. So both of those people can be described as vet and I think this will give us the correct answer, and it does. Hooray! So we filled the grid now, and now uh, the next step is going to be to uh, figure out the the chess stuff and somehow use it in this grid. So let's open uh, the the editable grid for the uh, Knights Tour. So it's going to be here. Let me just see if we can fit it on the screen. Looks like we can. And we are line. Let's just see that we can make lines here. Okay, we can. Obviously, that's not a nice move. 
So how a chestnut moves, it, it goes two and one, right? Or one and two. So that's a legal knight, knight's move. That's a legal knight's move. And we start here in the corner and we have to end here. Now how to do this? Well, let's, let's start with how not to do this, is to start making knight's moves and see if you're correct. Going here, 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 and ending like in a trap somewhere. Well, it takes a while to get into a trap, but uh, obviously you're gonna have to go through a lot of options here, looking at how big this is. So unless, oops, unless, you want to lose your mind? Maybe that's not the way. If your name is specifically Stockfish, maybe you can get away with it. But uh, the better way uh, to fill this is to think about the sort of finished product. What we will have once we've finished is uh, we're going to have a loop that goes around these all of these white cells. And uh, it's going to end here, start here. So every white cell is going to have the loop come from one of its neighbors and go into another of its neighbors. So each white cell has two neighbors that uh, a knight's move away that it goes to. So maybe the best option to start here is to look at those white cells that are very restricted, especially if a knight. Uh, is if a white cell, I want to say knight cell, which kind of makes sense, but if a white cell has only two neighbors that are unshaded, well, we are going to have to do the jump one way or the other from those cells. And we can fill the loop in. So let's see, for example, these corners here. So this corner, we have a knight's move from here and we have a knight's move from here, but the knight cannot jump into any of, uh, there are no other uh, sort of neighboring cells that knight could jump jump into. So it's going to have to come from here and go here or the other way around. And uh, obviously these are directional, but we don't have to mark them because once the loop reaches either this or this, that sort of solves the direction issue anyway. So we can just draw a normal loop here using knight's moves. So this corner is extremely restricted and we can fill in this part of that loop. Now, any other cells that are restricted here? Well, let's look at the other corner here. Same story, only this cell and this cell are possible. So we can fill that in. Then um, this corner also, uh, this only needs one neighbor because that's the starting point, but the other neighbor is already black. It's uh, shaded. So in fact, the only option for this uh, first jump is here. Oops. Now let's look at uh, well this. Let's look at this piece of wall. So a knight from this rim here, from this these border border cells, can't jump onto this row. So for example, from here, you can you cannot jump here. You cannot jump here. So where you can go is here or here two options. Can't go here, can't go here. So those both have to be taken. Same is true of this cell. Can't go here, can't go here. So it's here and here. And now this is the first instance of us getting something more useful from these, is that now this cell is unavailable, so we can treat that as a shaded cell. So for example, this cell, which previously could jump here, now cannot. It can't do this, because that's like, you can't jump into two places from the same cell. So it has to go either here, uh, or here, or here. So it still has three options. We can't fill any of them in because any of them could be the one that's not used, but it's still more restricted than, than before. Let's look at this cell then. This has the same problem as, as these, um, these two. So it can't go there, can't go there. So the only remaining, op remaining options are this and this because a knight on the rim only has four 
the cells it can go to. So they say night and the room is dim because it has fewer options. So and now this is also has become unavailable. Let's look at how about this cell because if you look at these shaded cells, they both block out one option from this. So from four options, uh, two are taken away. So these two are the only only remaining options. Uh, now then, let's look at what about this cell? One option, two, three options. That is outside the grid. So three options, one is shaded. So we have to take this and this. So how about this cell here? Because here we also have a, a case where these four cells are the only options and two of them are shaded. So we have to take this and we have to take this. Let's see. What have we not used on the rim? How about this cell here? So that has three options, this, this, and this. But this is shaded, so we have to go here, and we have to go here. Now, this one's on the rim as well, and there's one shaded cell here, can't go there, can't go there. So we only have two options, here, and then joining here, joining this line here. We also need to be careful not to make these mini loops, so, um, like, I can't tell whether we've already made a mini loop or not. I would have to continue with this line here. One option is to use uh, different colors for different sections that are not joined yet. Uh, but so far, we've only, only sort of made um, drawn in lines that are forced, that have no other option. So, we can't really make a wrong answer with that. So I'm not gonna uh, color this. Maybe it could be more useful, but I think we can solve it without using colors here. So let's see. This cell in, on the rim, we've, we've done all the other cells on this uh, first column here. So how about this? This has three options. This is an option, this and where's the Ah, uh, here. So that's uh, shaded, so we need this and this. And that's the first column done. And the second column, you can think of it as being the new rim now, because it's uh, these are all unavailable. So let's see. Uh, in fact, we only have these two that are unfilled. So this could still go here. And that's the only option, because this is shaded, so it can only go there. And fill that in. Now this can only go here. It cannot go there because that's shaded, so we can fill that in as well. And this has a couple of options. It could go here and here. So we don't know about that quite yet. Now let's look at maybe look at the top row here. So how about this cell? It can't go here anymore because that's already taken. It could go here. Can't go here. So this and this are the only options. Two options. Now, what about this cell now? It has to jump somewhere. Could go there. Could go there. We don't know. Okay, so not all that useful. Maybe continuing on the rim here. So how about this cell? It can go here. Uh, oh, it can't go here. That's shaded. So it can go here. And that's the only option. Only remaining option. Now, what about this cell? It comes from there. It could go here or here. Okay, so still too many options for, for us to draw draw in anything. Continuing on the on the rim here on the border, this cell, so that's out, and that's out. So it only has this and this. We can fill in those because this one was already used. We can't use it again. How about this cell here in near the corner? So it has three options, this, this, and this, and this has been taken. So let's do this. So this is the end of the end of our night's tour here. So we can treat this as being having been been used as well. So that limits the options of this cell. Can't go here anymore. 
Can't go here because that's shaded. Could go here, that's one option. And can't go here. And can't go here because that's been used. So only one option, and we can take that. Next up, what about this cell? It has a lot of shaded stuff around it. So it can't go there, that's shaded. It could go there. It can't go, oops, made a, yeah, misclick there. Can't go there, but it could still go there. So two options, has to take both of them. Come from there or the other way around. What about, um, oh, this uh, was now restricted by that last move because now this is unavailable. We can't jump from there here to there. So we, the only remaining option is here. Okay, uh, what else? Where can we go from this cell? So we come from there. This is unavailable. This is available. We could go there. And that's, uh, that's shaded. So only remaining option is going there. What about... Uh, we have an end here as well. That looks very restricted. But actually this could go still... Uh, this could still go here or here. Yeah, we don't know yet. Okay, what about this one in the middle? The middle ones are the least restricted. So maybe this one's not yet done. So this could go... That's, on, that's taken. Could go here. Oops, let's click again. Can't go there. Could go there. Not there, not there. So only two options. So we can actually fill that in, in the middle. Now, do we have any unvisited cells here? I don't think we do. So let's look at the, the ends now. Oh, this took, uh, this last one took this option away from this end. So it can't jump there. The only remaining option is here. And that, that's all the top of the grid done, except this end here. So it can't go here anymore, so it can only go here. Uh, next up, this end. That's shaded. That's shaded. This is available. That's shaded, and that's been already been used. So that's the only option. Now, where's the... Oh, we only have two ends. So we must uh, join them, and the other knights move away. And that was the correct answer. All right, so now I guess what we still need to do is figure out whether we made a loop or not. It did say we are correct, but let's just take a blue and just follow this so we can make sure that we actually have an entire entire night's tour, not like loops somewhere. So we start from here. Oops. I guess I have to do it like this. So we continue on this loop. And if we are left with green sections, once we reach the end, that's how we know that we have a loop somewhere. If we don't, then we don't. Maybe there was an easier way to just color those cells instead of coloring this loop, but let's see. So it's becoming, yeah, not like that, becoming blue here. And once we've reached the finish, it should be all blue. That should tell us that we correctly filled in the grid. One other option would have been to count the steps and make sure that they're the, it's the same number as these white cells. But yeah, we finished the end and we see that the entire loop is uh, is blue. So that means that we don't have a uh, sort of, we only have uh, one loop that covers the whole thing. Okay, well, how does that help us in the grid, uh, in the crossword grid here? Um, let me move this somewhere. Oh, 
that's my crossword grid okay so crossword grid is here let's look at where the loop goes so b is here a f then it goes to j f j doesn't look very good buff j then it no, sorry v a f so that's this 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 then it goes here v a f z vaf z s z s doesn't look like it's making anything sensible c o so if that doesn't make anything sensible uh how are we going to use this loop then maybe we should go back to the description and see if there's something that we haven't used and there is so uh, this was the description so explaining how the night storm moves we did that ending in the cell marked with a white diamond we did that the grid is 8 by 8 okay that's Good to know, Gladys, thanks a lot. Because the chessboard has eight lines and eight files, like it does, but and the number eight is significant. Now why would she say that if that wasn't relevant to how you solve this? And um, maybe we need to look at every eighth of these jumps because the number 8 is significant. So let's see. Um, so we are here. What would we get if we take only the every 8th letter? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now that would be the jump number 8. That would be this R here. So we would have R uh, should I mark them somehow? R is here. Then we continue. So we came from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have U here. R U. Then we came from here, continuing. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that's in the bottom bottom row. This is this A here, Rua. And we came from came from here. So continue forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's in the second row. It's this H here, Rua. And we came from above, so let's go and continue downwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that would give us an A here in the last column. Ruaha. And then one, two, and we already we are already finished. So is Ruaha then the answer? Well, guess what? That is the answer. And Ruaha is indeed a national park in oh, let's see how I make this Ruaha National Park in Tanzania. So as we said, uh, bigger than many countries and continuing hippos and what was it? Lions, hippos, and and giraffes. So that is where Gladys is currently. She is in Ruaha National Park in Tanzania. That is the final answer. Now, um, this was episode number five, and episode number six will be. Uh, by the way, you can see uh, sort of hinting at the next episode at the at the end of each puzzle uh, you can see the the name of the next uh, next puzzle already so the next puzzle's name is going to be who's in for a cruising 
and um, so that will be episode six coming up next. Now I know we sort of fallen back on the schedule a little bit. I'm going to have to make a um, few of them in a quicker succession. Uh, today is already the day that uh, episode seven is coming out, so I'll try to catch up with the videos. But um, but we'll see how that goes. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in episode six. Thanks.